Barton on Mars and Beyond. Space Barton reporting from the planet Mars. As I attempted to reach Thurtz's quarters in the Punitor's Palace, I was nearly trapped by Monstron and two guards, advancing down a passage straight in my direction. But a warning bell interrupted them. And while I waited, hidden in the passage, I overheard the guards tell Monstron that Varric had been taken prisoner. Monstron was delighted and announced that shortly he would have Varric put to death by heliofire, an agonizing death. I knew that I had to try to save my old friend. But first I determined to find Thurza. Perhaps she could help me in some way. When the sound of Monstron and his guard's footsteps faded in the passage, I proceeded cautiously. My loaded actor ray gun was ready for action. I was determined that Monstron's guard should not take me alive. A short way ahead, there was a turnoff in the passage. I followed it, and in a few seconds recognized the entrance to Thurtz's quarters. There was no guard in sight. Apparently, my trick had worked, and they had all withdrawn. I stepped up and tried the door. It was locked, or at least it would not open. I set my shoulder to it. It would not budge. Just then, I saw a small button inset in the column by the door. I pressed it. The door opened, sliding back into the wall. I slipped through, and it closed behind me. There seemed to be no one in the room. Where was Thurza? Thurza! Thurza, it's space! Where was she? Just then, I saw a hand, a delicate feminine hand, draped over the arm of a large chair drawn up by the solar window looking out over the towers of Camelot. I leaped for the chair and looked down into Thurtz's face, white and drawn. She looked lifeless, but I could see that she was breathing. Thurza! Thurza, speak to me! I tried to bring her to. It was no use. She seemed to be locked in a deep sleep from which there was no awakening. I suspected Monstron had drugged her for some terrible purpose of his own. While I was trying to decide what to do next, I heard sounds outside. Someone was approaching. What is the meaning of this? Where are the security guards? My orders were that the prisoner Thurza was never to be left unguarded. Oh, she could walk out of that door. Forgiveness, Lord, but your own voice commanded. What? My voice commanded? Commanded what? To withdraw all guards and wait on the lower level. You dare to offer me such an excuse? Pardon, Lord, but it was your voice on the special broadcast unit. On the special? Wait. Wait, I begin to see a plot. A plot such as only Space Barton could conceive. Of course, Molo, tell me, the strange intruder who claimed to be an agent from the outer space guard, was he tall, dark? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then it was Space Barton. Again he has escaped me. He slipped into my private rooms, struck you, Molo, left you unconscious, and then, then had the audacity to impersonate my voice in the broadcast unit. By the gods, he may even now be inside. Guards, open the door. 